That is right, Minecraft Java Edition players that want to play Minecraft Java Edition on their Android gaming phone or handheld. Today I'm going to show you guys how to set up a controller, whether it's a Bluetooth controller or a USB-C style controller, using PoJav Launcher. Yes, even though it's Java Minecraft doesn't mean that you can't use a controller. And the fact that PoJav Launcher has built-in controls, we don't really have to download any side mods just like your PC. So, first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to choose my controller of choice. I'm going to use the USB-C style controller because this is a new controller that just recently came out. It's a nice cheaper controller by GameSeer. It's called the GameSeer X5 Lite. And if you want to buy this controller, you can actually use my coupon code on their website or if you are in North America to get an additional 10% off your order on Amazon. Freaking awesome, right? So if you use that coupon code, you can get an additional 10% off, which is I think around like five bucks. So that is really cool. Now the next thing I'm gonna do after I've connected my controller, if you already know how to connect it to your phone, then great. This isn't a tutorial on how to connect your controller, but as you saw there, it was connected right off the bat. You're gonna open up PoJab Launcher. You're gonna click on the settings icon on the top right hand side, and you're gonna go down to where it says control customization and click that. Scroll all the way down until you see change controller key bindings. Click on that and then start pressing buttons on your controller. So as soon as you press one button, a little dialogue window is going to show up here and it's going to say, hey, press the button for A. And then press the button for B and follow the prompts. Basically, follow all these prompts until you got all of your controller set up. So the joystick says press right and then bottom, left trigger, right trigger, right bumper, left bumper, so on and so forth. And now your controller should just work. Now you're going to notice another option on the top right hand side where it says current mode. You're going to click on this and you're gonna see two options here. One says in menus, the other one says in game. And what that means is that when you're in the menu for crafting items and stuff like that, these are your buttons for crafting your items. You can change this however you want. However, the only option I change here, and this is all dependent on you, is adding an option for the shift key. Now the shift key allows you, if you press down on it, um, on your key keyboard and mouse and stuff like that if you press it and then press the right click on your button or your uh, Yeah, right click on your mouse It'll actually make all of the items that you can actually make within Like say you're making a whole bunch of wooden planks for example You'll be able to make a stack of wooden planks or the unlimited amount that you can actually do So that's what that does. So what I do for that is I click on my left stick and I make it to be my left shift so let's go all the way down here until we see that shift left right here and that's basically it now for my in game this is all dependent on you as well so b is your drop item button if you go all the way down to your d-pad that's where i like to change my up to my f5 so my up is my perspective so that's just like bedrock right so you can change your perspective down I like to change that depending on whatever you decide, okay? This is up, up to you, what you want your down to be. Now, some people might want down to be Q and then B to be something else, but I'm gonna make down to be Q as well. And the right D-pad, I'm going to make that to be the T to open up the chat menu. Now, you can change this again, however you want, whatever way you want, this is just how I do it. Now let's actually just jump into one of our games here. I'm gonna just go into like basic Minecraft and not use any mods or anything. Now again, if you want to check out my other videos about mods, as you can see here, I'm just using the controller now. Um, you can definitely do so all in a playlist, including how to install this version of PoJav Launcher, which has the newest renderer called the Mobile Glues Renderer. And hopefully they implement this into their nightly build. But as you can see here, look at guys, I'm able to just use my mouse and keyboard or my mouse and keyboard, my controller, <laughs> and basically just play Minecraft Java Edition with a controller, kind of like Bedrock. So if I go over and punch a tree, uh, I can actually just collect some wood here quick. I can show you what I was talking about when I pressed the shift button. So if I hold in the left L3 button and I go into my menu and go into my crafting, and hold in the left button it'll allow me to make that stack of items see very cool so that's about it guys if you want to mess around with some other button settings or configurations you definitely can and as you can see here 
We can also still use like the touchscreen, the debug menu. You can still use that if you want to use that as the touchscreen option only. And you can change all of these buttons on screen if you want to turn them all off and only have like the debug button show up on the screen. That's all up to you. But as you can see here, guys, we are able to just use this controller with Pojab Launcher for Java Minecraft. Yeah. Have a nice day. Love you all. Bye-bye.